Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's me again. I have left the Falcon Heavy launch zone and uh, decided to uh, head south to Fort Lauderdale to get a drink. So uh, I'm happy to report that the tire plug is working good for first well, about 50 miles we've gone so far. Got another 92 miles till I reach Fort Lauderdale. Uh, have a look at the tire here. So it's uh, midnight right now. Here's the original patch, right? So it's totally leveled out. Um, so we're like in Port St. Lucie, only uh, a few miles from the Mets training camp. Lights are working, which is good. Filled it up with um, two-thirds tank of water. What happened with the two-thirds tank of water is um, under here. Let me show you something else. So, you see that white white stem with a valve on it? That's if you want to empty your fresh water tank. So you open that valve. Well, I had uh, emptied, emptied the last few gallons out about a week ago. So I knew I wasn't going to have any water in there and I forgot to close it. So I stopped at a truck stop today, uh, Travel America truck stop on I-95. What happened was the uh, what happened was was the um, valve was open. When that valve was open, I'm putting water in right over here. Of course, I'm standing in the light. So you just hook your hose up to that. You have a spigot in a lot of places. The uh, commercial side of the gas station there had a uh, spigot, so I just, you know, hooked the hose to it, should have took a picture, and um, I'm filling it up to two-thirds, and then I take off, I start, I start driving, and a uh, half hour down the road, I thought to myself, I bet I left that valve open, and uh, I got to a rest stop, so when I got there, sure as I knew it, I look under the camper, and there's water just coming right out of that valve, so I only lost a couple gallons, it, it comes out pretty slow, so... All right, I will uh, catch up with you guys when I get down to, uh, I think it's Planet Fitness in Fort Lauderdale. There's like five of them. One of them is actually in the same parking lot as a Walmart, so see you there. Hello, everyone. It's uh, 12.30 Saturday. I just got out of the gym and uh, decoupled the uh, trailer behind me. So we're going to take a ride down to uh, downtown Fort Lauderdale. Um, I am five miles from the beach. That's downtown Fort Lauderdale right there with the uh, large buildings. Where I last left you off last night, I was driving down 90 miles. It was very smooth at uh, 1 o'clock in the morning. I had five lanes of I-95 holding myself, basically, except for a few speed hawks, speed demons. When I got down here, I made a left at the... Uh, behind that construction guy there's a Wawa there are three cops I came around this way and pulled into the I'm gonna call it the Walmart Plaza because this whole section here is not Walmart Walmart's down way down at the other end there's a reason I'm not parked down there so I made the turn at the light there to pull in here there were three uh, police officers at the Wawa uh, BSing and the one because it was so quiet at 2 o'clock in the morning sees me drive by and he just yells he's like he's like just keep on going <laughs> So, yeah, I was like, ah, oh, this is great. Um, there were some homeless people. There was a homeless lady just standing in the middle of the parking lot here last night with two carts full of her life's belongings. There was quite an amount of people sleeping in their vehicles. I think that's why the Walmart has security, which is why I didn't park down there. Not to mention, I'm surprised that in such a heavily populated area, the Walmart closed at midnight. So it was closed by the time I got here. There were no campers in the parking lot there. There was a security guard with his little white car and green flashing lights on top. So I came back down this way, and I'm going to give you a look outside in a minute, just to give you a quick look around, see how I locked up the uh, the tongue on the trailer, so hopefully nobody tows it or steals it. I think it'll be fine during the day. It is a little shady at night here. There's uh, wanders, as I'll, I'll say. There's a nightclub right 
over here, which they all hang out. Um, it's right behind the bush over there called uh, something cutters. But uh, yeah, I mean, I don't want any problems at night, so I'm not gonna leave the trailer by itself here at night. Let me uh, give you a quick walk around. It's windy out, so I won't talk. See if I can park the trailer down by the Tortuga Fest, Fort Lauderdale Beach. Check back in a minute.
It is uh, 12.30 at night, there's now a uh, running Penske truck and a mystery vehicle with a, uh, looks like a snowmobile on the back. Also what's going on is, um, we seem to have some like, I don't know, country western star over here. The vehicle is extremely large, it blows the doors off mine over here. Mine. Mystery dude just pulling up, and then country western superstars. Basically, some flashing green lights in the background. That would be Walmart security, security which yelled at me before. Uh, they said uh, I'm not allowed in there. It is 12:02. The store is closed, which explains why I had to go to Wawa to get some chips. Anyway, the evening was super successful and uh, I'll check in in the morning <clears throat> hey what's going on everybody I'm in bed uh, I was just looking through Facebook when I heard outside my I'm gonna call this my bedroom window a woman's voice talking so what I think was a Toyota Solera, gray, had pulled up without me knowing until I heard the girl talking, uh, pulled up to the front of the Penske truck. And I can't tell if it's the Penske truck that's been running for hours, or it's the white pickup truck next to the Penske truck. It's definitely a heavy duty engine. Anyway, as I hear this girl's voice and she's complaining about something, I look out the window just like we're facing here, and I thought she had a flashlight, but it wasn't a flashlight. It was her phone with the flash on. She was using it as a flashlight. And she goes up to the driver's side door of the Penske mobile there, and she takes a picture in the driver's side door. Didn't open it, just took a picture. Then she proceeds to walk around the right side of the truck, and then takes a picture of the license plate so I don't know what's going on I don't know if there's somebody drunk passed out in there or what but I hope she's not calling the cops because I don't want the cops over here I'm not sure exactly my thought is the reason this vehicle is running is because they have to keep something cool in the back maybe I don't know there is a nice breeze. It's only like 70, 70 or 75 out. It's not bad at all. The breeze is pretty amazing coming through this window right now. The, um, I don't see if you can see. Right there, the Kenny, Kenny Chesney <laughs> Super Country Star van is all closed up. Uh, that is the, um, shades for the front window. The more I thought about it, they got kicked out of the Walmart parking lot, just like I did. So, I don't know. Now I'm afraid the cops are going to show up, because I just can't think of why the one or two vehicles should be running. Alright, I'm pretty exhausted after my bag of chips and long day. If the cops do show up, you will see it in the next clip. Alright, how 
how's everyone doing? Made it through the night. A Penske truck. The uh, Cowboy Superstars are gone. It's another day. Everything is quiet. I think what I've determined is uh, police have a lot more to do than actually bother me in my uh, in my trailer. So I don't think there's really any problems with it being parked here. Especially since, well, I take a walk outside when it's breezy again, you won't be able to hear me. Well, maybe if I hold this close to my mouth, you will. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to hold the phone up to my mouth while I take a little walk here. But what I noticed is because I'm parked right against this construction zone, which I'm sure they're going to be doing construction tomorrow because tomorrow's Monday, it almost looks like I have a construction trailer. I don't know if it's just me, but here, take a look. So when my trailer, when my truck's not there, when I'm away, when I'm out, down by Tortuga Fest, I think it kind of looks like I'm just storing, I'm just storing it there. Could be wrong. This could all just be luck. I could actually leave now because I'm going to go meet a friend and come back and the trailer's towed. But honestly, I feel like the police here have their hands really full. So the last thing they want is to be bothering with my trailer. Um, what it all comes down to, I'm pretty sure, is actually somebody calling in and saying, hey, somebody living in this trailer here, or something's going on in that trailer, he's selling crack cocaine out of it, and then it becomes an issue where they have to deal with it. So, it is what it is, but, I don't know, besides that, I think everything's fine. Uh, it was totally quiet last night, except for that pesky truck issue. Uh, I think that Penske truck uh, was somehow connected to the country superstar trailer because I think they left at the same time in the morning. It was still running in the morning at 7.30 a.m. too, by the way. So, everything's good. It's, it's so humid out down here, though. If it wasn't for this heavy breeze, I would be dying. I mean, it just if you get something wet, it's just humidity. It doesn't want to dry. It's just, just crazy. So... Another adventure, uh, pretty much all tied up, all taken care of. See what happens next. I'm gonna go meet a friend down by uh, by the elbow room, and uh, I'll be back here later, and then we'll see what happens. All right, see you guys later. Bye bye.